Hi, this will be a quick overview on how to use the Heroes of the Tory Cluster X-Wing mod for Tabletop Simulator. So I created this mod so that everything will be easy and user-friendly so you can play these missions. I have all the mission items inside these bags, all the stat cards, AI cards, uh, Imperial Pilot cards, uh, starter ships here. We've got uh, pilot skill counters, XP counters. We've got all the tokens, dice, target logs, everything you need. And it has all the automated features of the other X-Wing table mod. So let's do a quick sample here. We're going to pick two X-Wings. Let's pick one Y-Wing here. We've got the stat cards for the pilots. Now these stat cards, if you want, can be uh, customized through Photoshop. I won't show you how to do that here, but just know that you can do that. Next, I will need uh, the dials for these pilots. So let's load that here from my chest. I'm gonna load 65s and a Y-wing. and we'll copy the uh, the T65 for pilot 2 here. We're going to rename pilot 1 uh, so we can tell them apart. There's rookie pilot 1 and here is rookie pilot 2 and we will store these dials so that we can take advantage of the auto movement. Okay. Um, you definitely have to download the PDF rules for Heroes of the Tory Cluster. They're easy to find online. And according to the rules, everybody starts with five experience points to spend. And uh, in this case, I'm only going to increase the pilot skill of the pilots. So they are going to go to pilot skill two, and that costs two points. So I'll do that here. Okay, next let's draw a mission. Uh, here are the mission cards for sample here. We're just going to do this one, uh, Minefields Part 1. So you would come here to the Minefields bag, Minefield Story Arc, pull out the first bag, which is Minefields Part 1. Now everything you need for this mission will be inside this bag. So here's the mission card. Here are some minefields. And up here is a bag full of enemy squads. So according to the rules here, we're going to need three minefield tokens for every player. So here's three, and then we'll copy that, six, nine. All right, and these need to be laid out range one away from each other. One way you can do it is you can pull out this range ruler and simply place the minefields. Another one is you can uh, just eyeball it and then use tab to measure out. Now 3.7 is generally about range one here. So we're gonna need to move this a little bit, get to 3.7, perfect. Oops, I deleted, that's okay. I can copy and paste another one. Now, I actually like that little triangle layout. It's all range one of each other. So let's just copy that and Paste and paste. And we'll just rotate these so that we can kind of get a minefield grid generally about range one from each other. Okay, uh, next thing we're going to need here is according to the setup, we're going to need to lay out the mine layer squad. So here's the first bag, it says mine layer, and there's our mine layer ship. And since it's not a TIE fighter, we're going to need to draw a random uh, card here to see what kind of upgrades this guy has. And he's got ion pulse missiles. And since we have three ships at pilot skill two, the rules say we're going to need two mine layers. So I'll copy and paste another one here. And let's rename this one mine layer two. And we'll rename these guys here, this guy here, mine layer one. All right, and 
We're almost ready to go. It says that the mine layers enter the game in Vector 3. So we'll place these guys right here. And uh, I'm just doing a quick general job so you get a, an idea of how it's played. Next thing we're going to need for these guys are the AI stack cards, which are in the stack right here. So let's search through here, and there's the bomber. So pull that out. Oh, fell into this bag. There it is. Copy, paste, and there's their AI card, and here is a movement die for them. Perfect. So uh, the rebel pilots deploy in range one of this edge, according to this mission. And we're just going to pick a generic move, maybe like a three forward to blow up that minefield, right? So select the three forward, flip it over, place it in the play area. Next, we're going to roll and see how uh, these guys are going to move. So we'll roll this d6. They roll the four. Now, according to the mission, uh, they have a special AI, so they are looking to, hmm, so they're going to replace mines as they uh, get blown up, and for now, uh, they're going to just fly towards me, so we'll put this card over them here, and we'll see which direction they're flying to the closest enemy, and we'll read the stat card. Uh, so, nearest enemy, we get a free target lock, but we're not near anybody. Uh, we rolled a 4, so a 4 would make us do a 3 forward. Alright, so let's make these guys do a 3 forward here. I will select S3 for forward 3, and same with this guy, S3 for forward 3. And they will go to the action selection. Uh, they don't have any stress, they can't get any shots. So they're just going to simply focus, and we will grab focus tokens for them here. Then we'll do our moves. Uh, there we go. I did his move, and then I'm going to focus for him and delete that card. This will be Rookie Pilot 2. He will also focus and delete that card. And the Y-Wing, same thing, focus, delete the card. And then we're ready for... Uh, Actions. So they have initiative. They get to shoot first. Let's see if they have range. And they do not. <clears throat> so we will shoot next. <coughs> and we have range. Range 1 it looks like to this minefield. And we will roll dice. So range 1 for X-Wing. That's 4 red dice. Highlight those. Roll them. And there you go, I got two hits and a focus, no reason not to spend the focus. And minefields have, um, man, I have not played this mission in a while. Well, anyway, you get the idea. I shot this minefield, I hit it three times, I think that blows it up, which we can just uh, unlock it and move it out of the way. So, as you can see... Mission's pretty easy to play. Uh, Heroes of Tory Cluster is easy to play on here. It has all the other rules you need, such as uh, earning XP, just some quick reference here on the side. You also have reference for emplacements and uh, terrain. Oh, right here it says, uh, Minefields can be attacked. They have three hull and one evasion. So uh, let's try that out. Um... You would get one green die for that evasion. Ah, so you evaded one. So I actually only did two damage to it, and it had three hulls, so it didn't blow up. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock all these minefields down so they don't get accidentally lifted up. And then I'm going to put a two-hit counter on that one so we know that that one's been hit twice. All right. And I don't think you get any XP for damaging a minefield. I think you do get one for destroying one, but uh, you can find that out when you read the PDF. But there you go, uh, here's the turn counter. So this is turn one. And what 
else is there to show you? Um, that's basically it. So uh, one last thing I'd like to show you is that you can, in Tabletop Simulator, do a lot of customization. So here is a game that me and my friends have been playing. And I'll show you some of the things that we've done. Let's give this thing a second to load. As you can see, it's a different map. You can load different maps by going to the host option and tables and using custom rectangle. And in the notebook, I have some different uh, maps, images available that you can just copy and paste into that. And so some of the things we've done here, uh, as you can see, we have uh, custom pilot cards. We have custom painted ships. I've got this uh, Y-wing here. Nice little shark's teeth. Custom bases with the pilot's name. These stat cards can be edited in Photoshop, so we can keep up to date with how this pilot is doing, what upgrades they have. And here's some other ones. Here's the enemy. We're all set up, ready to play this mission. Uh, this mission is Needle in a Haystack, Chasing Phantoms Part 1. Uh, we just hadn't uh, had a chance to play, but there's a look at how you play Heroes of the Tory Cluster for X-Wing on Tabletop Simulator. Hope you guys enjoyed it.